important book in my life that sort of kind of had as a consequence also the fact that I started writing later on my own books has been a philosophical book, a very difficult book. It was a book by Immanuel Kant, German philosopher, um, and it, the title was The Critique of Pure Reason. Why that was so important for me, it's a book which has like at least 500 pages in and it's an incredibly difficult book and I read it when I was 18 years old when I started studying philosophy and of course I didn't understand anything when I started and it was through enduring with my anxiety that I don't understand something that I slowly mastered the courage to go deeper in also other philosophical books and I realized that even if we don't understand something we should often endure and when we read the second time maybe we understand a little bit more. In today's times we often don't stay with that anxiety that happens with not understanding something. Our contemporary media allow us to go quickly from one thing to another and I think we are missing on something. We are missing on kind of building a certain kind of patience that books require. The second very important book for me was a book by uh, Sigmund Freud on group psychology and analysis of the ego, which helped me to understand how people identify with each other, how they identify with the leaders, you know, why they follow someone and not someone else. And that book helped me to sort of start thinking also about ideology in contemporary world. A very important book was also Michel Foucault's work on discipline and punishment, which allowed me to, think, to see the complications in the way we discipline people in prisons, in mental institutions. I started later working on the question of how we discipline people in schools, how society, the ideology is disciplining people, how fear and anxiety operate. My own work has been precisely analysis of the individual in the social setting. Why we obey certain power? Why don't we rebel when we see injustice? Why we follow some totalitarian leaders? Why are we quiet? And how anxiety operates actually to make us perfect subjects. My two books, which have been translated in Turkey, have been presided the book on anxiety and the book on tyranny of choice. Both of them look at society today. At the fact that people are struggling more and more, that they are questioning themselves, that they feel guilty for everything that happened in their lives. And it is precisely this feeling of guilt and anxiety that makes people passive. When we, for example, perceive that choice is an individual matter, we are forgetting the fact that actually choice should be social choice. We should think, we should think about what kind of society we want to build in the future.